Welcome to the Blockchain Hustle, where I take a look at some interesting plays of how blockchain technology is opening up new business vistas across multiple industries. Hi, this is your host, Meenu Sareen, with the second episode of my new series, Blockchain in the New Norm. Now, in the last episode, the one in which I introduced this theme, I mentioned about starting to cover two topics. The first one is a safe back to work or a safe back to office. And the second one was the repurposing of your supply chain. Now, let me start with a safe back to work. Now, a safe back to work, for me, it involves three facets. The first one is as an employee. Now, as an employee, I'd be both fearful and anxious in returning back to work. Is it safe for me to return? How can I be sure that neither my colleagues nor I pose an infection risk to each other? Is my work environment safe? These are a few questions that I would tend to ask. Now, in this context, I came across a statement by a gentleman uh, called Lee Paul from QMT. Uh, QMT is a quantum dot product company. And he captured it quite well when he said, and I quote from him, the world must have a system that eliminates the fears and the anxiety of not knowing who is able to return to work. That sense of safety and security is paramount. And we have to be able to give that back to people without a false sense of that, unquote. Basically, how do we get a safe back to work while ensuring the health, well-being and the safety of all involved. Then secondly, as a company, as a company, I'd be apprehensive on how can I get my company back safely to business with its stakeholders? How do I reassure my business stakeholders about the safety of my products and services, the risk management processes that I need to and I have put in place? That is, how do I facilitate a safe environment to conduct my various business transactions in this new norm? And then thirdly, there is this overarching aspect, one which underpins everything. Can I help in facilitating a quick and a safe quest for successful medical solution for this pandemic? How do we gather and manage the COVID related health data that can facilitate the work of the clinicians, the researchers, the scientists, etc., who are looking towards some sort of a medical solution, like a vaccine. Now, when I looked around as to what are the solutions which are on offer, something either, either they are already there in the market or they're being conceptualized or they are tested, they're being tested, I found that there is a plethora of solutions on offer but they are mainly movement documents and traceability apps. And some of them include credentials to boost what we can call it as one's digital health profile, like a health certificate. And these health certificates, they can be either in a paper format, in a digital format, or they can be stored on a blockchain mobile wallet. Some of these solutions, they tap on an individual's health data and they facilitate um, a secure and a consent driven usage towards research and related purposes. While some of these solutions are point solutions, some of them help in building up an ecosystem. They span an ecosystem. Then while some come with some government backing, some are pure commercial products and services. Now for my own ease, I put them into three buckets. The first one is a safe back to work which comprises of a set of solutions for the enterprises for its employees. Getting your employees safely back to work and facilitating a safe working environment for them. Mainly it is health screening and verification and preferably done in a contactless wellness check. Something which can help the employees demonstrate that they are virus free and that they do not pose any infection risk to others that they come in contact with. And uh, this can help businesses to plan their return to office strategies. The second category is a safe back to business, which is the infection risk management solutions towards addressing how an enterprise can get back safely to business with its stakeholders. 
And the third one, I term it as being safe. A solution that aggregates, integrates and shares the COVID related data that can be tapped then by the relevant entities in their pursuit for a medical breakthrough. Now, while we look at any feasible solution, I think we need to keep in mind two points, two pertinent ones. And these are, first, that the solutions cannot be vulnerable to fraud and forgery because we have too much at stake out here. People's lives are at stake. And the second one is that they cannot imp- Uh, they cannot impact your basic liberty. As highly sensitive personal data is involved, there is a very strong need to protect an individual's privacy, as well as prevent any kind of an unauthorized access. And I would say that this is not just restricted at the individual level. Even on a business front, it's quite important because we are talking about confidential risk management policies and practices as an enterprise, of an enterprise. So how do I secure these two non-negotiable facets? Well, this is where blockchain comes in. Blockchain secures its data cryptographically. It is immutable. It is transparent. Basically, what I see is what you see. Features that make it very tough to hack this data. And as far as we're talking about the privacy protection, Does a centralized body, which also brings along with it a single point of failure, is that better? Or a decentralized one with relevant consensus mechanisms? Yeah, and one more point I should add out here. All these solutions, they need to be compatible and scalable with the existing information systems. There is no point in having more siloed solutions. So I'm going to delve into each of these in my subsequent episodes. So do stay tuned. Until then, keep safe. Cheers. You've been listening to the Blockchain Hustle. Did you enjoy this podcast? If so, please do leave a short review. Like it, share it, download it, subscribe to it. What should I talk about next? Please do let me know your suggestions by writing to me at minu at vlsiconsultancy.com or through any of the other contact channels as shared in the episode notes. Thanks.